So um, I'm going to throw up about eight different questions based on clinical scenarios. You get 10 seconds to write down your answers. You ready? Okay. Um, you're on nursery duty and you're performing a newborn check on a full term female infant born to a G1 P1 mom via C section for persistent breach presentation. What is one orthopedic thing, given that history, that you're going to look for in that baby? Write it down. I already got my answer. Okay, next one. Uh, mom has a 10 year old kid who she's bringing in for his well child check. He's active, he plays soccer and basketball. His left hip started hurting after soccer practices this fall, and gradually over the past month or two, he's developed a slight limp on that side. What are two possible diagnoses? Okay, so this was the question that we kind of used to introduce into it. Okay, so 
the mom brought in her 11 month old toddler he had just started to walk and she says that when he walks um, he's in toes does anyone know what any causes of in toe club foot okay that would be a bad thing all right metatarsis seductus metatarsis seductus okay femoral anniversary is another one more common than outtoing. And so the easy way to remember this is um, intoing is either going to originate at the foot, the shin, or um, the thigh. Okay. Um, so if it's the foot, it's metatarsis seductus. If it's the shin, it's internal tibial torsion. And if it's the thigh, it's femoral inversion. So in metatarsis seductus, um, the, the forefoot is angled toward the midline of the body. So um, instead of being straight like this, the toes are going to go in like that. Sorry, this baby is club foot. I can't think of it. Okay. Um, it's also called a bean foot. Um, it happens just from normal formation in the womb. Um, so the top one is one that has, oh sorry, um, it is one that has metatarsis adductus. So you can see this kind of curves there. This is a normal foot. So the way you can tell that is you draw a line that bisects the heel halfway through. And bless you. And it should meet right where the second and third toe meet, okay? If you bisect the heel on this baby, it's being more like the between the fourth and the fifth toe. So if it hits at the third toe, it's mild. If it hits at the fourth toe, it's moderate. And if it hits at the fifth toe, it's severe, okay? Um, and I always have to kind of draw that or lay it down, maybe. So this baby is a normal heel bisect. You can also classify it in terms of how flexible it is. So if you can correct it all the way, um, very flexible. That baby's going to outgrow that. You don't have to do anything for that baby. If you can correct it just to neutral, that's considered just regular flexible. Um, and you can prescribe some stretching exercises for mom and dad to do, and we'll talk about that in a minute. If you can't correct it at all, um, so this baby's rigid, I can't correct it, um, they actually need to see ortho. Um, for some stretch casting or bracing. Okay, so for moderately flexible metatarsis seductus, um, what you do is if the baby's foot is normally um, normally kind of bent this way, then with every diaper change, you instruct mom and dad to hold the lateral edge of the foot and pull it out towards um, the lateral edge of the leg. Okay, so you're kind of straightening out your correcting it into valgus. Hold that for about five seconds, and you do that several times in a row with each diaper change. Okay. Um, and then if it's rigid, if you can't correct it at least to neutral, then you have to refer them to work. So that's if it's at the foot. Oh, and then Jared brought up a club foot, which is, um, I'm glad you did that, actually, um, because a club foot is a bad thing. Um, and. You should never see an 11 month old with a club foot unless they've never given it for a well child check because this is something you should be catching. Um, so the hallmark of a club foot is they can't dorsiflex at the ankle. So um, when you try to bring the foot into this position, it's rigid. They can't move that at all. And it's far more dramatic. So this is not just some bending of the midfoot here. This is actual rigidity of the ankle. Okay. That needs to go to ortho at like a week. So um, when it's the shin, um, for intern, it's internal tibial torsion.